I'll just try to kill this nest now. Maybe with some turret spamming again. Maybe I will kill the turrets, who knows? I guess some of the turrets have died. Or at least almost. Looks quite green. They have been viewed. I might also just try to go straight to diagonally, whatever. Try to uncover as much land as possible. Hello, big worm or middle worm? The big worm. Okay. Um, I want to see how much. Okay, I would have to build somewhere there to discover the most land I can. Um, for now, I will probably place a few turrets. Just as a reserve, if something doesn't really work out the way I want it. Second row. Okay, I guess I'm almost dead. Uh, fish. Nice fish. I guess it's a better strategy to just put turrets right next to the biters. Less danger of killing myself. But more danger of killing some turrets in the process. Which I have to endure. And then I have to build more factories to build more turrets. Mm. Okay, now I can build the radar. And then I can connect it to electricity. Bit. I guess it will be a long way to the Aaron patch in question. I might even try to not build the big wall right away. Try to sneak past those biters and build some intermediate radar, defense, outposts. Okay, there are some more biters, which I find not very much okay, but I have to 
give it to them. They are quite expensive, as am I probably also sometimes. Okay, the space is quite big. Don't think I will take this on now. Have to get there. And I have to kill at least these three bases. Maybe even this one. And then do a pollution cleaning ring again first. Probably should get my car out and hoover up more ammunition from the belt. And probably also defend this radar. If I discover this land, then at least I can see every movement from left to right or right to left. Might also just try to continue this belt. There are at least enough ammunition coming through. I really did leave a laser turret there. And I left the car, I guess, at the bottom where the wall starts. Well, not really a wall. More like a pollution cleaning array. Oh, this one is also near. That happens if you drive into undiscovered land.
seems like the inserters like to take from the near side and like to put on the far side. Never really noticed. So I'll save again, maybe a new save. And then I'll just try to run in and aggro them. It is possible to kill them without cheating, except this big biter, of course. I think this is also a nice way of turret creeping. If I'm doing it right. Wow, I killed a base without building turrets on the base. I mean, um, I want to kill those turrets or take them back into myself. And then I want to go on killing bases basically. Maybe this one on the right could profit of me building some more turrets right there. But I will save the game in between. Seems to be one biter and one spitter nest. There's no more nest, which is really nice. Now I just need to try not to run into the asset. Which I did not manage totally, but I survived. Now I need to place the radar, maybe. I think these biters wouldn't like it if I place the turrets too close. 
but I would like it, so I will do it. Don't really know whether I actually should attack them and reduce their numbers, but maybe they just won't attack when there's no pollution allowed. So I might just uh, do a splitter there. And move some ammunition to the left. Except now I need electricity also. But there's also electricity. I could build a circle for better redundancy. Could have also built a circle with these larger power poles, but I might do that later. I need some of that belt back for now to feed these turrets automatically. I think that's a nice step in between for now. I will have to go back and get some more belts and other stuff. Probably also some new turrets. I just wondered what is this, uh, but this is just robots. I thought there were big clouds of smoke coming towards me. But it's just a cloud of robots. Half the science is working at the moment. That's not too bad. At least the sulfuric acid isn't totally full anymore. So some of it has been used and the sulfurous gas is at
but only 19k instead of 20k. I think the venting, I installed that, but it is only working on certain conditions. Maybe it vents at 20k. But it's taken up by the pollution cleaning machines anyway.